Good evening, everyone. New tonight, President Trump fires back at Cindy McCain after she endorses his Democratic opponent, Joe Biden. McCain becomes the highest profile Republican who's ditched the president. Team Trump political insider Bram Resnick has more from his one on one interview today with Mrs. McCain. The McCain family's endured years of insults from Donald Trump. Cindy McCain says she was expecting the latest blowback, but she just blew it off. She also told me she gave Governor Ducey a heads up on her endorsement. Joe and, and our family shared a common bond. The Bidens and the McCains, friends for 40 years in peace and in war. We're Blue Star parents, and we watched our children get on an airplane and fly into combat. Cindy McCain says a report that President Trump disparaged America's military dead was one of several reasons she's endorsing Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden. Any other family in this country who not only whose children not only served but gave the ultimate sacrifice are not losers. They're not suckers. Cindy McCain has heard the insults before. This was five years ago. Does being captured make you a hero? I don't know. I'm not sure. I was never a fan of John McCain and I never will be. On Wednesday, Trump fired back in a tweet. I hardly know Cindy McCain, never a fan of John. Cindy can have Sleepy Joe. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. McCain did care enough to give a heads up on the endorsement to Republican governor and Trump campaign honorary co-chair Doug Ducey. Well, I spoke with him just to let him know what I was doing out of courtesy. And uh, uh, it was a fine conversation. Ducey spokesman says the governor's private conversations remain private. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.